Radio. that wood look different you know there, there's different grades of lumber and uh, there's kind of like two by fours at Lowe's that you just build and you never see that you put uh, sheetrock above on top of it so you never see that and then there's furniture grade lumber and then there's musical grade lumber which is basically the highest grade of lumber and uh, my first concerns when when uh, that board from Pastor showed up at my shop was, I'll never make a guitar out of this because there were so many knots and there were wormholes and and you basically work around those things and, and I was really surprised at the beauty of the guitar when it was when it was all completed. As I was building, there were a lot of things that uh, kind of came to mind of how it, it kind of parallels how when we are in the hands of the master, God and he's working on us there was knots and splits in the board that I had to work around I had to chop certain pieces off and a lot of times when we come to Christ that's how we come and uh, you know sometimes in the beginning there's big chunks that God's uh, knocking off of us and uh, but the, the, the closer it gets to the final product you start with coarser grit sandpaper and you start with 80 grit sandpaper and if you'd rub that on your skin you'd get a brush burn but when you get to the final stage, it's, it's like 2,000 grit sandpaper and you, you barely feel that. It's not abrasive at all and kind of God does that with us. In the beginning, a lot of these things are painful when he's removing the things in our lives, but the more we become like the image of Christ, it becomes a little less painful. When, when I first got into building guitar, I read a, uh, one of the few books out on the subject. The guitar maker that had written a book saw an inscription on a 17th century lute and he was referring to the timber it's, and this was the inscription on the lute it said in, in life you stood far above all the other trees but the axe has fallen you and in death you sing so sweetly and the more I thought about that I thought that our lives are, are kind of like that before Christ we were out in the world doing our own thing and uh, and when we, when we submit to the will of God and, and make Jesus our Lord and Savior, then we begin to sing his praises. The guitar making process, what, what, I have to, what I have to have is the ability to look into the piece of wood when it's in the rough and, and see the finished product. And the more I thought about that, I thought about my life when my life was nothing but sin. And God saw through all of that, and he saw the beauty in me. And, uh, you know, God wants to, he sees that in all of us. And uh, he sees through the mess that we make of our lives, and he sees the beauty that, that, that we're capable of when we are in the image of Christ. And, and Pastor had asked that I would come out and, and uh, play a song on this guitar. And I said, man, that's, it's got to be like the perfect song. And I was praying one morning about what song could I, I, I play uh, that kind of paralleled the, this whole process. And when I thought about that, how God sees through our sin and he sees the beauty, it just hit amazing grace. It's the perfect song. <laughs> 